hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to update your windows 11 to version 25 h2 on your windows 11 computer because of this error we couldn't install this update error code is 0x800 so please follow the steps shown in this video now the first step is to retry so when you see the retry option you hit retry and then check if that does not work restart your computer once and after the system restart you can check still not working you run these three commands so type in cmd in windows search box make or i click on command prompt app make sure that you run this command prompt as an administrator only click on yes to allow now copy the first command paste it over here hit the enter key now this will run a scan once the scan is 100 percent complete over here then run the second scan so copy the second command paste it over here hit the enter key once the second scan is 100 percent complete you run the third command so copy the third command paste it over here hit the enter key and once the third scan is 100 percent complete then restart your computer and then try to update your windows 11 and then check still not working the next step is to start these services so type in services in windows search box click on services now find windows update in the list scroll down here you can see windows update make a double click on windows update set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok then make a right click on windows update and then click on restart now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted now click on ok and then make a right click and then click on restart now find app readiness at the top here you can see app readiness make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok make a right click once again and then click on restart now still not working the next step is to pause and restart the update so you can go to windows update in windows settings and hit pause over here and once it is paused resume updates and then you can check still not working use windows 11 installation assistant now for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website the link is provided in the video description here you can see windows 11 installation assistant click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow and if you see update option or install option over here uh, you can do that in my case it is already up to date still not working use fix problems using windows update now for this you can go to windows update then go to advanced option scroll down go to recovery option here you can see fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will take some time and once this is done restart your computer and after the system restart when you go to update windows update update history you will see repair version of version 25 h2 you will see this once this is done you can try to install the update once again and then check still not working use media creation tool now for this you can open this link in a browser here you can see media creation tool it will take you to microsoft website the link is provided in the video description click on media creation tool download option and then run this exe file run this exe file and then click on accept over here then by default windows 11 will be selected click on next select iso file over here and then click on next you can save it to desktop save and then let the download complete this process will take some time and once this is done click on finish and then do not close this manually it will close automatically it will take some time maybe a few seconds or maybe a minute once closed go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow click on next click on accept but here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation restart your computer and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to update your windows 11 to version 25 h2 so that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.